I have made use of the cell template. We'll take a look at what I've done, which is not much actually. The video motion backdrop is in place and you will recognize the change I have done splitting up the produced slideshow video file and chosen a transition for the split. A quick look in Modify window reveals that I have chroma keyed out the black to make way for my own background. I have enabled reflection plus lowered the opacity of the reflection. And because I have used the freeform tool, which is so shown as the blue squares, I have unticked maintain aspect ratio to get out of the preset ratio. The little oak leaf is just a PNG image file on transparent background, and I have keyframe motion and freeform. The 3D template is more difficult to tweak. And frankly, I don't care for it much. Taste is a very personal thing. I, for one, am not very fond of all kinds of effects and all kinds of particles. You might like it differently. When making a slideshow, I try to process my photos to the best of my ability and maybe spice it up a little with short video clips and motion backgrounds. You can make slideshows for all kinds of purposes. Maybe you just want the viewer to have a little entertainment of effects, transitions and particles. Here I'm giving an example of how one can work to have a slideshow serve more as a gallery for photos. Point and shoot cameras today do a pretty good job, but learning to work in a photo editor which supports layers will give you many advantages. Having a motion background for the slideshow can be nice. Only the motions should not take the scene from the photos by being a disturbance. It's often enough to have a shot of a stone and choose the motions you want by changing saturation and scale. The manual section in Cyberlink's color director gives you a wide range of choices. White balance, exposure, RGB curves, brightness, saturation, easy to use through handles and not just number values. For creating motion backgrounds, you are well off here. The preset section can work okay, I guess, but I like to make my own decisions of color corrections. So back in PowerDirector, 
I now have the same motion background clip in two versions, one original and one modified in color director. I'm going to arrange these together by using video in reverse from Power Tools and a five second long fade transition between them to make the transition seamless. Setting up a slideshow, I'm always torn between loading effects or let the photos speak for themselves. In the end, I seem to go with the talking photos and I can actually make effects using bits and pieces from the photos. This slideshow has only photos, keyframing them here and there, plus a tweaking of a style inside PD. Thanks for watching.